My uh, thought of the week here, and uh, today's been a busy one as I go, 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 and we're scheduling people, try to get interviews for everything. Today's been a busy day, but that's part of the, the better to be busy than not to be busy, right? I got this book here um, by John Kavanaugh that, uh, called Winter Learn, and I'm, I'm very early on into it. I'm only on page 40 right now, chapter 5, uh, but he's the guy who works very closely with Conor McGregor, and I haven't, I'm really excited, I haven't even got to the Conor stuff in here yet, and it's getting, it's coming up really close, uh, but I grabbed the book because I'm enjoying it so much, and I just love that, the win or learn phrase so much, and I think so much can be solved from this right here, this mindset. So what am I talking about? Now, if this was win or lose, that's an entirely different thing. And losing typically could have a lot of negative um, associations with it, a lot of negative things associated with the term losing. Uh, we see it, uh, and a lot of it has to do with the person's mindset uh, of what happens. But if we are able to get rid of that term losing, and no matter what you believe, winner or loser, but, but winning in learning that, okay, you lost but not letting that be the focus of it, that it's win or learn, that you're able to, if a situation doesn't go your way where you're quote unquote the winner, that you're able to learn and grow from it and be better for it. It's an entirely different thing and it could fuel you. Whereas if you obsess over the losing, being a loser, you're no good. You know what I mean? You weren't good enough. You're not learning from it. You're dwelling on the negative where when you have a win or learn mindset, you're able to shift into a positive of, okay, what happened? What am I learning from this? What can I do better in this? And you can apply this to any aspect of life, any aspect of it. And where you put yourself in a position to maybe where you win the next time, or that if you don't, you learn even more and you put yourself in a position to win the next time. And maybe you never ever actually quote unquote win at what you're trying on that, but you continue to learn and get better and grow you're moving in a positive direction. And uh, I just think it's such a, a brilliant, simple thing, win or learn. And you don't let fear control anything. I think it also allows you to put yourself in positions of going for it more often. Because you don't gotta win all the time, guys. You just gotta win once, too. You can lose and lose and lose and lose. But if you keep going and then on that 100th time you win, you can be set for life. But you don't let that losing, that fear of losing, stop you from going for it. And you see that with a lot of the most successful people in the world. You know, even when you look at the Conor McGregor, the things he puts himself in, where a lot of people, you see it with people in MMA, they lose a fight or two and they, <clears throat> it's not the easiest thing to overcome. And Conor has suffered some, a couple significant losses and he's able to bounce back from it because he's not afraid to put himself in that position because he's winning or he's learning. And he understands that mindset and he takes chances because he's not afraid of losing. He knows that the worst he's going to learn. Does it make sense? And I love it. I think it's a really powerful thing. And if we could, you know, brilliant. And I, I can't wait to, to finish this book. And this, check this out, guys. You can get it. I got this on Amazon, Win or Learn by John Kavanaugh. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm very familiar with him, but pronouncing the last name. It's a brilliant, brilliant guy. And uh, very glad. Somebody recommended that, and I don't know who, but it's one of the, I'm enjoying the book, book thoroughly. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, conversation with the big guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. Ah. New customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more.